Hello, this is Andrew from CMU Apps, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at opening a Twitter page up in a Twitter app if the user has it installed on their phone. If they don't, it will open it up in Safari instead. This is useful for something like if you want to implement something in your app that follows a Twitter page. So, first of all, we've just created a blank fetch code project here. So, to do that, just go File, New project, do single view application and just keep on clicking next and name it. So first of all we're going to go to the storyboard, we're going to just add a button to open up the Twitter page, in this case we're going to open up the CMU Twitter page, we'll go open CMU Twitter page and we're just going to connect that up to our view controller Swift class. So drag that there, create a new action of UI button, and just hit open Twitter page. So now that we've got that set up, we'll put in the code to actually open up the Twitter page. So we need two variables. The first one will be the Twitter URL. Which is a ns url equals ns url bracket string and in here we're going to put in a special url which is used to open up the twitter page within the twitter app so be twitter colon slash slash user question mark screen name equals CMU apps. So where the CMU apps is here, this is where you put in your Twitter page, or someone else's Twitter page, or whatever page you want to open up on Twitter within the Twitter app. The second one we need is a Twitter URL for web. That's if they don't have the app installed, it will open up this in Safari instead. So that will also be a NS URL of string. And that's just going to be a URL to the actual Twitter web page. So the same apps Twitter page we've got there. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to see if Twitter is installed on the iPhone or iPad, then open it up in a Twitter application, otherwise we want to open it up in Safari. So to do that we go if UI application dot shared application can open URL and in here we'll do the Twitter URL. So this is if user has Twitter installed else if they don't have Twitter installed, it will run this code here. So to open it up, what we do, we do our UI application. Dot shared application. Dot open URL. And this will do the Twitter URL. So this is the actual Twitter app URL. And we'll do the same steps here, except this is going to open up the web URL for Safari. Shared application dot open URL. URL web. Okay, so we'll run that now. Now, since the iPhone simulator doesn't have Twitter installed, it should open up just in Safari. So we'll try that now. As you can see, it's opened up our Twitter page in Safari. So if you were to run this on an actual iPhone with Twitter installed, it would open up in a Twitter application. So remember to subscribe for more tutorials and leave us any feedback.